Subscribe to Film Companion for your film fix. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Hello and welcome to episode 2 of In Style with Sneha. On the show today, we're getting access into the gym frequented by the likes of Ranveer Singh, Shahid Kapoor, Disha Patani, Tiger Shroff and Siddharth Malhotra. That's right, we're heading straight into Reset Gym in Mumbai. Inside Reset Gym and I've been told that first things first, I've got to check my posture and get my body composition analysis done. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to find out. Doctor, you have my report card. Yes. What are the results? It, it looks fine, uh, Sneha. God. When organ fat goes beyond 100 or close to 100, it may invite health issues. You are safe. It's 55 in your case. Right? The entire score of your analysis is 71. Let's target 80 plus to take it to a better level. Got it. The next time I'm here. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Just like you guys, I've been seeing tons of videos of celebrities sweating it out in swanky gyms and to be honest, I've often wondered what an actor's workout is like. So later on the show, I'm going to get the co-founder of Reset, Luke Coutinho, to give me the lowdown and all his trade secrets. But before that, I thought it would be fun for me to explore this place and maybe try my hand at some of the equipment. Thank you for speaking to us. Really, I've been wanting to figure out what it is about Reset that makes it the go-to celebrity gym. And I'm excited to be here, but half of these equipment is intimidating and overwhelming <laughs> to say the least. So do you want to give me a little bit of a walkthrough? Sure, What's absolutely. About? So I think the whole concept of Reset is about being as holistic as possible. Right. So you see a lot of equipment and of course you have the right kind of trainers who are going to teach you how to use each of these equipments without really you know, uh, injuring yourself because keeping injury at bay is one of our main visions, you know. Right. You can get fit but without injury is the better way of doing it. So these are examples of machines from your calves to your shins and this is the whole cardio section that we have Right. and this comes in handy during the rains because although we suggest that people go outdoors and you know, nature, run around and stuff like that, fresh air, I mean as fresh as it can get can in Mumbai, <laughs> We have our ellipticals and we have the whole stage of uh, cardio equipment over here. Over there, that ladder that you see, this, this stepper, that's a power mill. And a lot of people who are going mountaineering, climbing, base camp, all of that stuff, even athletes use this. I'm actually curious about the yeah. briefs that you get from the Bollywood clientele that come right. here. Mm -hmm. Is it more specific than just, I want to lose weight? No, I think everyone really comes here, I'll be honest with you, for a holistic kind of a, you know, and the vibes, you know, I mean, I, I have a lot of, you know, I mean, a lot of Bollywood that comes here and I ask them, I would say like, like why do you guys work out here? Yeah. You know, I want to know because we want to know if there's something else that we can add, put in and stuff like that. The first thing that comes out, whether it's Bollywood or not Bollywood, it's the vibe, it's the energy. And I'm a believer of the energy being created by the people who are around. Yeah. So it's so it's so motivating and I think it's you know it's really managed well in the sense that even though we have a lot of Bollywood here, people are just doing their own thing, working out, everyone's respectful to one another. We've had a couple of cases where you know people take memberships only to come, click selfies, but catch does that them happen? down. Yeah, it's happened once or twice. We take away their memberships, they're out. Really? Because we respect everyone's privacy, not just Bollywood, everyone else. So we've had those. I mean, you can't stop that from happening, but now I think word's gone around that, you know, you're not going to get your membership back. You'll just be, <laughs> you know, kicked out of the gym, basically. Right. So I think that's why a lot of them also come, because their privacy is completely, completely respected. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have people going up and asking for selfies, but never on a gym floor. Maybe if they meet them down and they've always been cooperative. Touch wood, we've never had an issue that's been escalated to us. We've been proactive to take care of it. We have cameras all around. So right now there would be someone watching even us. So there's more than watching. just the camera <laughs> shooting us. <laughs> so they watch the behavior of other people. You know, people who are just sitting, looking at other people, who are looking at women, and all of that stuff. 
and then we have guys who will come and you know give them one warning or just move them out. So we try to maintain that kind of atmosphere over here. So that would it's been pretty good right so people now. People are here to get fit. You know, I so. see you give so much like mm -hmm. nuggets of information when it comes to nutrition and fitness. Right. So really, I want to know from you what are some of the common mistakes people make in over eagerness to just lose weight. What would you want to warn them against? So I think uh, people should understand by now that fad, fad diets don't work, fad exercise oh, wow. programs don't work. You know, just by lifting heavier doesn't mean you're going to look better. It's about your form, your form, your form. Right. So like they say, keep the ego away when you're lifting weights. It's not about how heavy you lift. Yep, we have power lifters who come here, but all of a sudden if we decide to compare our workouts with a power lifter, Obviously, we're going to fail miserably because they're power lifters. They are supposed to. They're trained to lift heavier and heavier. But when you look, when you look at a lot of Bollywood, a lot of our, our fit people working out over here, their workouts are simple, graceful, not heavy, not whatever. Yes, a lot of discipline. And that's what we're trying to teach people that everything doesn't have, less is more. That's our message. Let's do it the right way. Don't get injured. Try not to get injured, which is why we have ice baths to help you yeah. post recovery and stuff. So we've tried to fit in everything holistically where once you come here you can do everything from end to end with your workout and leave post that. So. I have to also ask you about food because mm -hmm. it is a big factor. So what right. are the superfoods for someone who is very actively hitting the gym, something that you swear by? So honestly I think superfoods is an overrated word. Is it just it? makes like if we decide today that black pepper is a superfood, soon it's going to become very expensive for everyone, <laughs> you know? See superfoods like a banana is a superfood for someone who's doing weightlifting because of the amount of potassium that you can get. A beetroot is a superfood. So it really depends. As long as all superfoods come from nature, they grow, they're natural. So those are superfoods. If they work for your body, you need it, it's going to work great for you. Turmeric is a superfood. Black pepper is a superfood. So you know, we can make it, but I think marketing lobbies have gotten so smart that when they want to sell a product at a high price it suddenly becomes like moringa moringa is your drumstick tree yes. drumsticks grow all over the country you can buy a kilo of drumstick powder at like a few rupees but because they've slapped on a superfood name on it today moringa is expensive all of a sudden although it is really really economically you know it's cheap yeah what have you found to be like the go-to workouts for say the Bollywood people that you train? Is there a specific thing that you see them want to do? I, I think I think all of them weight train. They yeah. weight train and they have a fair share of cardio. That's it. We see a lot of them doing functional workouts as well, animal flow. Mm -hmm. A lot of them join us for yoga as well. So that's what, that's what makes us happy because they're not just pumping iron. They're doing everything from flexibility to mobility to agility, everything. And that's what holistic health is all about. You know, there are so many people who are so muscular, great bodies, but they have such bad health when it comes to their flexibility and injury and stuff. So that's why we encourage people and we see that in them naturally. You know, so that awareness is there at that level that they need to do everything in order to stay fit and to stay healthy. And these are all the other machines from back, back. These are the new machines which came in now. So, so if you see, Traditional machines, both would move, but you can just move one up, you can move one up, or you can move both up. So what right. happens is isolation is important. So when people are trying to develop their bodies and get cuts, right, that definition, so you use isolation. So you move both, then you move one at a time, six reps, the other, then move both again. So you see you're training every muscle. Usually when it's just fixed, you don't engage your core to right. train, right. and it's the same set of muscles that are being used. But this, you can move into a centric training, isometric training, all of this together. And like that, that as well. So a lot of our machines are designed this way. Over here, you could just move one up, or the other, or both. And oh. likewise, these machines as well. This is the whole cable rack where people, if they want to do their pull-ups, their core, their chest training, triceps. So every machine has multiple functions, and the trainers help them select which exercises necessary for them to do basically so that's how it is and then when we come to this side of the floor this is like where we have a lot of free weights that happen for example this is a fixed bench press this is the whole dumbbell rack mm -hmm. for your free training leg machines shoulder back and then you have your whole squat machines and this is this is where a lot of people usually work out because you can do your back shrugs squats so Technically, we've tried to keep it as holistic as possible. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. so much. I'm looking forward to trying out some of this equipment myself Perfect. and seeing how it goes.
guys, looking like a million bucks is not all fun and games. There's clearly a lot of work that goes into this stuff. Lesson learned today. I think I'm done with my quota, but Reset has this feature called the Ice Bath that they promise really helps with recovery, and I already think I need it, so I'm gonna go sample that now. Oh man, the things I do in the name of content. I've been told this one's a favorite with the celebs. It's called the Ice Bath and it helps with recovery and reduces inflammation, I'm told. And the water temperature can go as low as 2 degrees Celsius. Wow, this is ice. can check this off the bucket list as well. I'm going to take a while to recover from today's session, however much they tried to play it down for me. But I hope you guys enjoyed this peek into the lives of the fitness that actors go through. What would you like to see next on the show? Make sure you tell me in comments and I'll be sure to get hold of it.